Hello and welcome to Glitchy Tools. It's been long since the last upload and I'm really sorry about that. And it's mostly because I got really tied up with the... This one I'll be going and making this wappy type of look that Shoko really likes using in the edits. Let's get into it. So we have our clip already here. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to have to add an adjustment layer. Then the first thing we're going to do before we actually add this wappy kind of look, we're going to have uh, to add uh, some blur and uh, you know the way the clip looks like when it starts and it's uh, blurring in, it gives a very nice aesthetic. So let's go with BCC Lens Blur. So with our BCC right here, we're going to come and set this quality and set it as sharp. And we're going to come and animate the iris scale. So we come to the beginning, hit on the iris scale and let's set it as, um, uh, what do we do? Let's try five, maybe here. No, let's put it as seven and move uh, 10 frames forward and put it as zero. Then we're going to come and change uh, the gamma. Let's see what happens. We change this. Okay, it looks nice. We're gonna change the gamma and bump it up. Okay, let's take it all the way to 1000. Now that's what we have, the blurring, sorry, the blurring look and uh, come into the clip. Next, we're going to come and add another adjustment layer. So let's just duplicate what we have and, and delete this effect. And then we're going to come and add turbulent displays. Alright, so in turbulent displays, the thing we're going to come and animate is the amount and the size. So you go to the beginning, amount and size, go all the way to the end. To you to view the keyframes and click on this. So now we've added the keyframes all the way. So for the last keyframes in the amount, we're going to set it as zero and for the size, we are going to bump it all the way up to 300. And uh, for the first keyframe, we're going to have uh, 80. Let's increase the amount to around 80 or 7. Let's go with 70. And let's, let's, let's just leave the size as 100. Let's see how it looks like that. Okay, it's a very nice, warp and slow look. Next, we're going to come and add, uh, let's just take this to the top. Let's come and add exposure. Exposure, okay. And uh, for this, we're going to come and animate the exposure, go 10 frames forward, click U to the keyframes. Add a keyframe there, go back to the beginning and let's set the exposure to around, uh, let's try 0.7. Okay, 0.7 looks good, let's see. Okay, that's, that's actually good. Looks very nice. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope it helped you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe also you can uh, join uh, the discord server the link will be in the description that being said i will see you guys in the next video